Oh, so um, here we have three smooth newts. <coughs> There's the other one. Here they are. And as you can see, I found them in London. I'm just going to release them under the slob. You should do it like this, not to squish the newts. Um, now I'm at some rocks. Rocks can be very good for newts and frogs, depending on where you are. Here, we have quite a few newts. Here we have two. And um, they like to hide in the crevices, so just have a look around. They also like to hide under the leaves at some point, so just move it around a bit. Here we are. So I'm going to let it go the same way as I did last time, just to make sure I'm not to harm it. I didn't do it with the other one because the other one was already in its sort of hole. So here we are lucky enough to find a common frog under a log. And um, unfortunately he hopped away before we could catch him, but here's another log. <coughs> under this one there are quite a few, as you can see here. Um, I'm not sure how many exactly were under the log, but there were lots. Also check under like under hanging, um, overhanging dirt and stuff and roots because I just found this um, smooth newt under it. So yeah, always have a good look around. Then um, under here you also have a load more newts and newts basically eat small bugs so anywhere that has a lot of um, small bugs then you're probably going to find newts. And also if there's a pond nearby. Again, letting them go like this so I don't harm them. And then over here, there's another new. And the under logs, they're also good places. Here you have to look around quite a lot. Because you have one here. And then um, up here, you have another. And um, in between these pieces of wood, there's a new. So, um, yeah, just have a look around through all the leaves. And if you can see, there are more up here. Um, there are probably more, but they were under the leaves. And again, another log. Um, this one's a bit more compact down. 25 smooth newts and one common frog. What a day.